ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Today, we're putting that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman po si Jules Giang with a fresh new season of teaching, learning, and competition here on KCheck. Throughout this season, maraming contestants ang dadaan sa pagsubok sa kanilang brain power until only one is left standing. Samahan niyo kami until the final week of competition dahil in the end, that new KCheck champion will be revealed. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Unang-una si Ray. Ray is a student of PUP Manila taking Bachelor of Technical Vocational Teacher Education and majoring in Beauty Care and Wellness. This 20-year-old is an area nater who loves to spend me time at home watching Netflix, Korean dramas, and One Piece. Nikki is a community development student from UP Diliman. She's a passionate advocate of children's rights and development. During her free time, she likes to nap and watch movies. She's also a big fan of Ed Sheeran and recently watched this concert, in fact. At eto na si Sean. Sean is a super califragilistic expiatidocious accountancy student of National Teachers College. His hobbies are studying, playing board games, online games, watching anime, singing, food, and travel. Napaka-diverse. He's a big fan of Taylor Swift and loves to dance to K-pop songs. Last but not least, Flory is a 22-year-old, third-year college student majoring in special needs education. She's a student leader and a church minister whose hobbies include reading, photography, and visiting museums. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Glessie Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters from UP Diliman. Sunod naman, we have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology from UP Manila. And finally, nagbabalik, we have Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former chair of the Department of History from UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, on to our round number one. Kaya naman, get ready to buzz in and go for the early lead. Each correct answer in this round is worth 10 points. Kaya naman, let's, let's begin. begin. This is round one. Question number one. What term is given to either A, an official stamp or document that allows you to travel to a foreign country, or B, the name of a payment card company founded in 1958? Yes, Nikki. Visa. Visa is the correct answer. K-check. Question number two. What is the 2024 hit single of CISA that has a title that is the name of the second largest planet in the solar system? Yes, Ray. Saturn. You're the Arianator, correct? Yes. Yes. The Arianator's answer, Saturn, is correct. k -check. Question number three. What term is given to a small amount of money kept on hand in a business that is used to pay for miscellaneous small expenses? Nikki. Petty cash. Petty cash is the correct answer. k -check. Question number four. The largest constellation in the zodiac represents a harvest goddess. What is this zodiac constellation? The correct answer is Virgo. Question number five. What is the surname shared by famous architect Frank Lloyd and inventors Orville and Wilbur? Right is the surname shared by Frank Lloyd and Orville and Wilbur Wright. Question number six. What term means six months but now refers to one of the two divisions of the school year? Sean. It's a semestral term. Semestral 
is incorrect according to our expert, Nikki. Semester. Semester is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. Complete the title of a comic strip penned by Hank Ketchum about a troublesome boy. Blank the menace. Sean. Dennis the Menace. Dennis the Menace is the correct answer. K check. Question number eight. What type of mythical creatures are Sapphira, Smaug, Mushu, Toothless, and Charizard? Nikki. Pokemon. Well, Nikki's answer is incorrect. Sean. It's Dragon. Dragon is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine. What is the sum of the fractions one fourth and three fourths? Sabi ni Nikki. Question ba talaga yan? One po. One is the correct answer. K check. Parang I saw that hesitation when you rang your buzzer. Question number ten. Which animated TV series that had its thirty fourth season in twenty twenty four? Showcases a family headed by a Springfield Power Company employee named Homer. Sean. Um, it's a modern family. The answer is incorrect. Hindi kayo nanonood ng The Simpsons? Like Homer Simpson? Question number 11. In what U.S. city can you find the White House and the Lincoln Memorial? Sean. Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is the correct answer. K-check. And for the last question in round one, question number 12. Which country in North America is divided into provinces and territories? Sean. Um, Minnesota and... North America and South America. Uh, the answer is incorrect. Anybody want to steal? The correct answer is Canada. And that's it for round one. Thank you so much, Attorney Gabby. So after that round, mag-scores recap muna tayo. Nikki is leading with 40 points, followed by Sean with 30 points, Ray with 10 points, at ahabol dapat si Flor di Mamaya with... Yes, habol ka mamaya. Baba mo na yung kamay mo, wala pang, wala pang tanong. Okay, so, meron tayong portion dito, contestants, kung saan mas kinikilala natin yung mga backgrounds ninyo. And this is our favorite portion. This is called? Kay Chica. Okay, simulan natin kay Ray. So, Ray, naiintindihan namin yung course mo. Ito yung Technical Vocational Teacher Education. No? So, nag-aaral kang maging teacher ng mga tech voc courses. Okay? Pero, ang mas gusto namin malaman, ano ba itong Arianator? Arianator is uh, a name for the fans of Ariana Grande. She is a pop singer. Yes, she's a pop singer, of course. Oh, oh. Pero madalas kasi mas madalas namin na encounter ang Swifty. Swifty. Kesa sa er Arianator Arianator. dito. Pero dumad pero madami din naman kayo. Uh -oh. Si Nikki naman ang tatanungin natin. Saan nanggagaling ang iyong passion for children's rights? Saan to? Saan nagmula, di ba? Although Go for it. Pero <laughs> share with uh, us. Actually, back in high school po, talaga nag-volunteer na ako. Usually sa Tondo, sa Project Pearls doon. So, nag-tutor, nag-feeding program. Then from there, nag-enroll ako ng community development. Tapos nagtuloy-tuloy na yung passion for children's rights. Very commendable. Do you live anywhere near Tondo? No. Malayo ako oh, doon. So, pero talaga, pero ano talaga? talaga? Mabuhay ka niya. Yan talaga ang tunay na passion. Yes. Pero si Nikki, gusto ko lang natin ihabol, Ed Sheeran fan ka rin, di ba? Oh. Ano naman yung tawag sa fans ni Ed Sheeran? Serious. 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 <laughs> Pagkain ka. Kala ko, <laughs> kala ko Sheeran Dators <laughs> na ito. <laughs> okay. Serious. Alright, maraming salamat. Now we're getting closer to finding out kung sino ang ating first daily winner for this week. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! K-Check!
Welcome back everyone at balikan na rin naman natin ngayon si Sean. Sean used a very long and strange word kanina sa kanyang bio, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Alam ko kung saan galing. Baka tapos ng episode natin, hindi pa tapos siyan. So alam ko kung saan galing ang word na yan. Ikaw ba alam mo? At bakit mo tinawag ang sarili mong ganyan? Dahil ba sa ginagawa mong hobby ang study? Um, I call myself a super califragilistic expiao delicious because I'm amazing and wonderful person as it's the meaning of the word. And isa pa is I embody the word itself kasi it's really me. When you're seeing me, I just keep smiling at you like that. <laughs> Yun na pala ibig sabihin ng super califragilistic expialidocious. Kapag nung iningitean ka, gano'n na pala. I'm just expressing myself. Oo. Oh, oh, okay. Pero very expressive siya yes. kanina bago tayo nag-roll, di ba? Sabi ko, sino yung kumakanta dito? <laughs> no less than Sean. Thank you, Sean. Ito naman si Flory. Si Flory loves visiting museum. So, ano bang nadudulot sa'yo ng pagbisita mo sa mga museum? At ano ang favorite museum mo so far? Uh, um, ano po, kasi nag-umpisa po yung Um, love ko sa museum um, last year lang po nung um, nagkar ay last year lang po siya nagumpisa nung nagstart na po rin ako mag um, bumisita sa mga museums and currently po ang favorite ko museum is yung fine art museum po um, yung national fine arts museum po natin na nakalocate po sa uh, UN station po malapit kayo ator yung favorite museum baka met sa New local York local or international <laughs> Low Sorry. tide or high tide? <laughs> <laughs> local na lang, local. Hindi. Siyempre yung, ano, yung National Museum, actually. At maganda rin na ginagawa for events, yes. di ba? At kailangan nating bisitahin yung Fine Arts Museum. Yung may magandang yun. lobby, di ba? Yung Hindi ko pa napupuntahan eh. Kaya nga interesting. Yes, okay. Tama. Okay, tama. that's one that we should visit. It should be on our list. The Fine Arts Museum. So, maraming maraming salamat, contestants. But now, it's time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure to strategize. Kasi sa round na to, correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So, let's, let's begin. begin. This is round two. Question number one. In elementary science, what organ system includes ductless glands that produce and secrete hormones into the bloodstream? Nikki. Pancreas. Pancreas is wrong. Anyone can steal? The correct answer is endocrine system. Question number two. The Islamic feast of Maulid al-Nabi celebrates the birth anniversary of which great prophet? The correct answer is Muhammad. Question number three. What international conflict caused the postponement of the Olympic Games in 1940 and 1944? Spanish flu. Spanish flu is wrong. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is World War II. Yes. Question number four. The Bolshoi is among the world's oldest and foremost ballet companies in the world. In what country was the Bolshoi Ballet founded in 1776? Correct answer is Russia. Question number five. In what 2015 Marvel movie did Paul Rudd play the title role? The correct answer is Ant-Man. Question number six. During the 1980s, aerobic exercise figure Jane Fonda popularized the catchphrase no pain, no blank. Nikki. No gain. No gain or gain, that is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What collectible card game was released in 1993 by Wizards of the Coast and has since sold over 200 billion cards? The 
correct answer is Magic the Gathering. Question number 8. In movies and TV, what kind of animal is Lassie, the pet of the Miller family? The correct answer is dog. Question number 9. What gem is believed to be the only precious gemstone that is made up entirely of a single element, which is carbon? The correct answer is diamond. Question number 10. What title for a ruler is common to Charlemagne, Hirohito, Augustus Caesar, and Nicholas II? Correct answer is Emperor. Question number 11. What is the surname of the family composed of Fred, Wilma, and Pebbles who all live in the town of Bedrock? The correct answer is Flintstone. Nabutan niyo ba Flintstone? The Loud House po ba yan? Sorry? Yan po ba yung The Loud House? The Loud House, hindi. <laughs> Naging vitamins din siya. So, oh, yun. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sige. Masyadong luma yung reference. Okay, question number 12. Okay. Question number 12. Synonymous with harakiri. What do you call the honorable method of taking one's own life practiced by samurai in feudal Japan? The correct answer is sapuko. And that ends... Round two. Maraming salamat, Jules, for that round. And after that second round, we have Nikki in the lead with 15 points, Sean with 20, Ray with 10 points, and Flory with a little catching up to do. Up next, ang pinakahihintay na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lang yan sa... King Check! Alright, let's do a points recap. Leading si Nikki with 50 points, followed by Sean with 20 points, si Ray with 10 points, at si Flory hahabol pa sa susunod na round. Dahil nga in the lead man si Nikki, ay may chance pa rin makahabol ang iba as we go into our ultimate pagalingan round. Correct. Dito kasi, correct answers are worth 30 points each. But this time, there's a 15-point deduction for wrong answers. So, Contestants for this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer but not the letter only. Sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan sa round na to. And this is your last chance para humabol. Kaya naman, good luck sa inyong lahat and let's begin! Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Glessie. Hello. Okay, first question. Jose Corazon de Jesus and Florentino Colliantes were considered as the first participants in this spontaneous poetic joust, which features the pros and cons of an issue. What do you call this poetic joust? Letter A, Berbalan. Letter B, Tiktokan. Letter C, Balagtasan. Letter D, Jesusan, and letter E, none of the above. Flory. C, Balagtasan. The correct answer is letter C, Balagtasan. Okay, check. Thank you, Prof. Glessie. Prof. Marla. What term describes the phenomenon where an object continues to move at a constant velocity unless acted upon by an external force? A. Momentum B. Acceleration C. Inertia D. Gravity E. Friction Nikki. Inertia The correct answer is C. Inertia K. Check Thank you. Next question, Prof. Lu. Hello, ready na ba tayo, mga contestants? Okay, sports history tayo. 
who was the first Filipino chess grandmaster and the first Asian chess player to be inducted in the World Chess Hall of Fame. The choices are Joey Antonio Jr., Nelson Mariano II, Rosendo Balinas Jr., Bong Villamayor, or Eugene Torre, letter E. In 1974, at 22 years old, he became the first Filipino and non-Soviet Asian to qualify for the title Grandmaster. He is considered the strongest chess player in the Philippines during the 1980s and 1990s. In 2021, Eugene Torre was inducted into the World Chess Hall of Fame. The correct answer is E. Eugene Torre. Thank you. Now we're off to the second set of questions, Prof. Glessy. Okay. Tinatawag itong dakong balod sa Bisaya at tumutukoy sa ilang metrong taas na alon na nararanasan matapos ang pag-urong ng tubig dagat matapos ang displacement ng tubig dahil sa lindol. Ano ang tawag dito sa wikang hapon? Letter A, Fuji. Letter B, Tsunami. Letter C, Nami. Letter D, Kyoto and letter E, Umi. Sean, letter B, Tsunami. The correct answer is letter B, Tsunami. Correct? Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Marla. Science ulit. In plant cells, which cell organelle is the site of photosynthesis? A, nucleus. B, chloroplast. C, mitochondria. D. Ribosome E. Endoplasmic reticulum Chloroplast The correct answer is B. Chloroplast K. Check Thank you si Prof. Marla today So far, nasasagot ang mga tanong niya Bingo siya Prof. Lu, go ahead Okay, Asian history naman Which country gained independence from Indonesia in 2002 to become the first sovereign state of the 21st century. The choices are A. Laos B. Timor-Leste C. Brunei D. Hong Kong E. Papua New Guinea Ray D. Hong Kong That is incorrect. Nikki Papua New Guinea Incorrect din po. Is it Brunei? Mali po. A po. Laos. The answer is wrong. Uh, it occupies the eastern half of Timor Island, which first gained its independence from Portugal in 1975 and then from Indonesia in 2002. The correct answer is B, Timor-Leste. Okay, so before we proceed to the third set of questions, mag scores recap muna tayo, attorney. So after that round of questions, we have Nikki in the lead with 95 points, followed by Sean with 35, Flory with 15 points, and Ray with negative 5 points. So now let's proceed to our third set of questions. Prof. Glessie, go ahead. Ang pagtatanghal ng panunuluyan ay tungkol sa paghahanap ng matutuluyan ni Maria at Jose noong kanyang panahon ng panganganak. Saan isinagawa ang isinasagawa ang tradisyonal na pagtatanghal na ito? Letter A, Lansangan. Letter B, Cultural Center Complex. Letter C, Metropolitan Theater. Letter D, Bahay. Letter E, Altar. Sean, is it letter A, Lansangan? Oo. Uh, correct answer is letter A, Lansangan kasi street play ito. No? Kaya, K-check. Next question from Prof. Marla. Ready? Which planet is known as the Red Planet? Sean. Venus. Mali. The choices are A, Venus, B, Jupiter, 
C. Mars D. Saturn E. Mercury Lucky. Mars The correct answer is C. Mars K. Check Thank you. Next question, Prof. Lu Okay, economic history naman tayo Who was the first governor of the Central Bank of the Philippines whose term was from 1949 to 1960? The choices are A. Filimon Soto Letter B. Miguel Cuaderno Sr. Letter C. Manuel Briones Letter D. Jose Fernandez Letter E. Andres Castillo He was the finance secretary of the Philippines under Manuel Rojas from November 25, 1946 to January 2, 1949. President Elpidio Quirino appointed Cuaderno as the first governor of the Central Bank upon its establishment in 1949. The correct answer is B. Midel Cuaderno, Sr. Thank you. So now we're off to the last set of questions, last 90 points na pwede kunin ng ating contestants. Kaya naman, simulan na natin, Prof. Glessy. Okay, kwentong bayan tayo. Ano ang pangalan ng nilalang na sa mga kwentong bayan ay lumalamon sa buwan tuwing may eclipse? Sean Baconawa. Okay. Letter A, Dragon. Letter B, Bakunawa, letter C, Baleleng, letter D, Kuracha, and letter E, Bakekang. The correct answer is letter B, Bakunawa. K-check. Well done. Thank you. Okay, next question, Prof. Marla. Who was the ancient Greek astronomer known for his accurate measurements of the Earth's circumference and the distance to the moon? A. Aristotle. B. Plato C. Archimedes D. Pythagoras E. Eratosthenes Nikki C. Archimedes Mali Sean um, Is it A. Aristotle? Mali din Correct answer is E. Eratosthenes. Last question for this round. Wala kay Prof. Lu. Okay, economic history uli. Who is the father of macroeconomics? Letter A. Friedrich Hayek. Letter B. Milton Friedman. Letter C. Adam Smith. Letter D. John Maynard Keynes. Letter E. Alfred Marshall. Nikki. D. John Maynard Keynes. The theories of John Maynard Keynes, known as the Keynesian economics, center around the idea that the government should play an active role in their country's economies instead of just letting the free market reign. The correct answer is D. John Maynard Keynes. K. Check. All right, and that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Nikki, our K-Check Daily winner with a final score of 140 points. We'll see her again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. So maraming maraming salamat din, of course, kay Ray, kay Sean, and Flory. And syempre maraming salamat din sa miyembro ng ating panel of experts, Prof. Blessy, Professor Marla, and Professor Liu. Again, this has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman, si Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check.